Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you two ways how you can send error messages from Laravel and how to handle them in your React Inertia front-end application. In our example, we're going to simulate an email newsletter sign-up form. So once you click the sign-up, it should give you an error message stating that your email is required. We can start by looking at our web.php file for our routes. We've got three routes defined. The first route is a get route to the newsletter controller and the create method. That basically just shows the current form that you can see on the screen. We've got a second route, a post route to the store method that's going to check or store our actual email address. And we've then got a thank you route that will display a thank you page after sign up. Okay, so let's look at our newsletter controller. As you can see, we've got two methods defined. One create method, which basically renders the current page you can see on the screen. And then we've got a store method that usually then checks the email address and stores it to a database. In our example, we're not going to actually store it in a database. We're just going to simulate what happens in a normal sign-up form. For example, we've got a store form request, which will validate our email from the form. We have an if statement that will simulate whether an email exists in the database or not. We then have a redirect to a thank you page, which simulates a successful sign-up. Now, the first way we actually send error messages from Laravel to the React Inertia front end is from the uh, form request. So if we look at our form request, you can see that we require our field to be, or our email field needs to be required. It needs to be an email address and it needs to be shorter than 255 characters. And this is the actual example you can see on the screen. So if we click sign up and leave the box empty, you'll see that the email field is required. Now, if we just type in some gibberish and sign up again, the email message is changing and says that your email must be a valid email address. Okay, so let's look at the actual React component and how we can extract the error messages from the information sent from Laravel. Now, in order to get access to our errors prop, we're going to destructure it from the use page props method provided for us by Inertia. And we're going to do this at the top of our component. Now, this errors variable that you've destructured is actually an object. In order to access the properties of it, you can simply use the dot notation in order to get access to the email um, error message. And then display it like this within our React component. Okay, so now back in our newsletter controller. So the first method of sending errors from the Laravel to the front end is by using the form request, which is done automatically for us by Laravel and Inertia. Now, the second way is by returning a response and sending errors manually using the with errors method by including a key called email and the error message that you want to send to the front end. All right, so let's test this out and see if it works. We click sign up and there we go. Our error message has changed, saying that we've already signed up. And now we know that this way of sending error messages works. All right, that was two ways of sending error messages from Laravel to your React Inertia front end and how to handle them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.